I've already shown you the truly magical yoga, 5k, and 10k events recently held at Disneyland. Now it's time for the anticlimactic half marathon that wrapped up this Run Disney series. This route was controversial from the moment it was revealed. The event starts with 8 kilometers around and through Disney property. Unfortunately, the remaining 14 kilometers was just running on city streets. More specifically, industrial city streets. Safety was also a surprising issue. I saw three runners trip over the road reflectors and heard of many more. There were a couple of highlights, like running around stadiums, but even that fell flat because previous events ran through the stadiums. Entertainment was slim, but local citizens and clubs did come out to support participants in their own way. There were no photographers, but no scenic views to shoot either. I don't fault run Disney. I can think of many logistical reasons between Disney and Anaheim that limit route options. Therefore, I don't think this is something that can be drastically improved over time. Run Disney newbies and veterans alike should know that this half marathon experience in Disneyland falls short of the traditional Run Disney experience. This should not be your first or only Run Disney event. The half marathon in Disneyland should be for Run Disney veterans checking off a list or participating in a multi-run challenge. Hopefully they will improve the after party. There was really nothing to do or see at this time. I was surprised how many people considered this self-serve photo wall worth the time. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm just nine days from Run Disney Princess Weekend. Like and follow for those updates to come.